नहीं Well, welcome back everybody and thank you for tuning in to another video today. It is going to be quite a different video. We aren't going out and venturing. However, we are going to be using some items that I have picked up outside, whether it be a pond, a lake, or a creek. I found some items and I really want to see what I can make work. So, to start off, as you can see in front of me, we have a lemon, we have some salt, we have some ketchup, a thing of coke, and also some toothpaste. Now, what we're actually going to be doing with these items is we're going to be seeing which items together will help the most when it comes to actually cleaning blades. And what I mean by that is we actually have picked up some just broken spinners from, like I said, multiple waters. And the blades, as you can see, get a little bit of a better view. They're quite dirty. And you might say, I could just take some water to these. Um, however, I have taken water to them and they still look pretty grimy. Also, I have another, oh, that's not it. Another little spinner here and it actually has some yellow blades. This one actually has rust on it. So I'm not too positive. This one's gonna come out too clean. We also have a huge spoon here which I found and it's pretty dark of a blade it looks like it may have been mm, copper before it started looking this way and recently I've just been trying to test my skills on making inline spinners so what I actually have done was on some other baits that I found lying around I just took the blades off already and added them on to these little inline spinners that I've made myself just in practice and so this one is a bit dirty of a blade and also we got this one here so what I'm looking to do today is Obviously, I'm not a professional by any means, and I am not paid from any of these companies whatsoever to be using their products. So this is just simply going to be a test to see if any of these items will work. From all the information I've seen online, a lot of people have recommended these products and even more to try to clean up these blades. And that's what we're going to be trying to work on doing today. And... We're just going to see if any of them works or which one works best because these are just items you typically will find around your house. So it's about the cheapest way to go versus buying some really heavy duty equipment to get these things cleaned or even just purchasing brand new blades because sometimes these blades are extremely expensive, um, especially if you're, you know, trying to make them yourself. So... Now that I've showed you everything, we're going to go ahead and jump in and get started. So what I've gone ahead and done already is I've went through and disconnected all the additional pieces. We have a little mini clevis here. You know, that way y'all didn't have to sit here and watch me actually remove these pieces. I just wanted to show y'all that these are in fact coming off the same baits that we just had. Alright, so now that y'all see everything is separated, I'm going to go ahead and move these additional parts to the side. And never throw away your additional pieces because you actually can make use of a lot of these parts of course like this right here is broken so that might not be of use but sometimes if the skirt is still 
in good condition like this one's falling apart you might not be able to use it but you might also be the one to actually put it back together and make it look a lot better so whatever you do don't get rid of the additional pieces i know these clevises here are really hard to find so i make sure i always keep those um and of course these little beads sometimes they're weighted beads and those can be more pricey when going out and shopping for those so i just make sure i keep them and what i do is i just keep all the additional parts that i found at the <clears throat> waters inside that bag so in case i need anything i can just dip into it never hurts to have extra pieces now that that's cleaned up so we're gonna go ahead and get started um let's see let's start off with this blue blade here not sure if y'all actually can tell that that is blue but it definitely has like flake and shine to it and this one will be really pretty to just kind of clean up um we're actually going to use the toothpaste on this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through and i'm going to kind of just align each one with something and then we'll go back through and check them out and see if they're actually cleaned up or not so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna just place a line of toothpaste on this side and on this side now i don't know how much toothpaste you're supposed to use i just read that you're supposed to use toothpaste so i'm just gonna kind of you know wipe it all over make sure it's all over the edges and rubbed in really nicely and hopefully once the rest of them are cleaned up this one will come out pretty good all right so that's that's pretty much on there so first was the toothpaste now there wasn't any specific kind of toothpaste that was mentioned i just grabbed what was in my bathroom which is the colgate sensitive whitening now whether the whitening will help or not i guess we'll see so we'll set that aside. Next, we will go with dun, 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 some Coke. Now, people use Coke as I've seen because, you know, it's got a lot of acid in it. Not sure if y'all are aware, but a lot of people also will use Coke on their batteries to get rid of the acid on the connectors. So this should, in theory, work pretty well with this one we will go ahead and use the spoon here and set it in there i might have to add a little extra coke looks like all right just so it's fully submerged in there once again didn't know of a time so we're gonna just kind of set it aside and See what it looks like here shortly. Grab another little tub. We're gonna start with the ketchup. And with the ketchup, we'll go with this one here because that actually has some color on it. Um, I'm pretty sure the color is gonna flake off, but you know, we'll see. So we're gonna start with this little blade here and see what happens. We're gonna just kind of Drop that in there, throw some ketchup in there, roll it around. Alrighty, set that aside. Last but not least, we have our lemon. Now, the lemon, from what I've read, is you add some lemon juice and some salt. Squeeze that out like we're making some lemonade. Actually, it sounds pretty good right about now. All right. And we'll drop in our salt. Now, the reason I chose to go with these versus, you know, some 
stuff that is known to work for these is because as I mentioned before these are things that are typically already in your household already in the kitchen it's easy accessible and what that means is it's cheaper <laughs> I'm all about saving money so any way that I can find will work on me saving money I want to share with you guys give you all a little intel so one thing I did read was that a couple of these items have to sit anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to fully work properly. So we're going to just kind of let that sit for a little while. And once the 15, 20 minutes have passed, I will see you back here. All right, we are back after roughly 16 minutes and we are going to start digging in and seeing what we have. So we're going to start with the toothpaste one and try to rinse this off i do have a toothbrush sitting to the side just in case i feel like we might need it and this i can kind of feel a little bit on the back side see you and take our toothbrush and we're gonna kind of just run it over for a little bit so toothpaste actually worked really well I'm not sure if y'all can tell the difference but that bad boy is definitely clean only a good looking blade there so toothpaste, so far, is definitely at the top of the list. Next, we have our Coca-Cola spoon here. So these are true reactions here. I am seeing it just as you are, firsthand. And if you feel that my opinion is incorrect on this, feel free to put your own opinion. But to me, I do believe the Coke, I mean, it did a good job. I don't think that it worked to the extent I believe it would have, or was going to, in other words. But, um, it did clean off a good amount, and it was pretty dirty. So, I mean, it did, it did pretty well. Um, I'm just... Not sure if it's going to get much cleaner, but what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to try the toothpaste, the toothpaste method um, on it and see if it gets cleaner. But before I do that, I'm going to go through the rest of these. So here is the lovely, lovely ketchup. And you know, some of these just might not come clean. You know, some of these... Might stay with the stains on them, but we're going to give them all a shot. You know, they might re require a polish. They might require a little bit of sanding down with the finest grit you can find. Um, I mean, who knows? But this one here, I'm not sure if y'all can really see that, but it definitely has quite a bit of dirt left on it so um it almost looks as if it is a water stain if you want to call that so we'll try the toothpaste on that too these blades here with the lemon and salt. I didn't have very high hopes with these in the first place because they do have rust on them. So, you know, we'll see what we have in just a moment. Now with these blades, not gonna lie, after I clean them up, I probably would take another paint to them. Maybe change up the color a little bit. 
Um, just because even if you clean this up, it's still not going to look the best that it can, given the fact that it's already really chipped. So, it did get some of the rust off, that much I can say, um, on this one anyways. So, I mean, some of the coloration, unfortunately, is just, it's gonna stay there, um, just because I just think it's kind of dug into the paint. Once you repaint them, they'll be looking good as new. You know, just make sure you clean them, paint them, make sure you get a, a nice coating over it. So that way, you know, keeps that, that extra shine, that extra flash. And all these blades here, regardless of how clean they are or not, I'm still going to use them. <laughs> so... At the end of the day, it works out for me. This one is a bit bubbly. I'm not sure if y'all really can see that or not. But, yeah. So those I'm not gonna worry about trying to re-clean because I think they're about as clean as they're gonna get. From my opinion, I can say the toupees has worked far better than the rest of these. I can say the the lemon juice with the salt did help a little bit with the rust. I just think that with these particular blades, since they're so chipped and worn out, they just need to be cleaned off and recoated. But with these two blades here, I am, well, the blade and the spoon, nonetheless, I am going to take toothpaste to these and see if I can just get them a little bit more clean. But they might stay just as dirty as they are now. So with that being said, give your opinions, drop down a comment, leave any extra suggestions i know i also read that there was a suggestion with like water and vinegar and leave it in a bottle with that overnight and that might help but i figured for the sake of this video we didn't need to try that but given what we have tried i think we've had some great options great opportunity and great success we're gonna wrap today's video up let me know what you think about it leave a like leave a comment and please subscribe because that helps out the channel a lot till next time